Hello friends, I welcome all of you. My name is Ashish and I will be covering this section for you on automation in SD-WAN with Tela. In this section, I will be making API calls using the inbuilt API library of vManage. So before I take you to the automation part, I want to give you a very high level overview on SDN and its type that is SD-WAN. We are going to do automation for SD-WAN Viptela. So Viptela was a company which made this solution. Later on, it was acquired by Cisco. So Cisco is selling this uh, solution to all of its enterprise customers. So SDN is a larger term, which means software defined network. And this SD-WAN means SDN for WAN, Wide Area Network, Layer 3 of the OSI model. So it's basically Cisco's approach towards SDN in WAN. Cisco is a vendor which we are talking about. In case of SD-WAN, we use three controllers, vManage, vBond and vSmart. This is the main controller wherein we'll create all of the templates, addition of devices, management of entire infrastructure. This will happen through vManage, the policy change, OMP, if you want to control the OMP or TLOG advertisement, for that you need to create policy. That will happen through vManage only. Troubleshooting will also be part of vManage. So vBond is an orchestrator which will basically help in adding any device into this SD-WAN. So this is part of security. You cannot add any device of your own choice without making it pass through vBond. Initially, this is very important controller. Then vSmart, which does the routing part. Overlay routing here. And friends, it uses protocol named OMP, Overlay Management Protocol. All of the policy work will be handled by vSmart. So you must have understood that we use controllers in the SD-WAN. Similarly, if you talk about SDN for data center and we have ACI of Cisco, application centric infrastructure, therein we use a single controller for managing the entire data center environment. Its name is APIC. Therein we use Nexus 9000 series devices of data center. And if you talk about the SDN of enterprises, we have SDA, Software Defined Access of Cisco. In this, our central controller is DNAC, DNA Center. But we are talking about SD-WAN Viptela, so our main focus will be vManage. I will take you to the diagram as well, so that you get an idea what I have done. You can go through my other course, SD-WAN Viptela. You learn about the complete thing about this and it will become very easy for you to understand this automation topic. Since we are using controller, it means we will also be using software. The software will be used for controlling the connectivity, management and services between the branch routers. Between the branch router, the traffic will be encrypted using IPsec which is by default we can use GRE as well vManage will be a central place wherein we'll see the health of the entire environment control tunnels how many devices are there we can do trace route you know see the ping status DTLS connections right so everything can be seen from the vManage dashboard connectivity status policy creation feature template, device template, pushing the config over to the devices. So we manage, we'll handle that. All right. So what basically happens is it decouples the control plane. That is the brain. You know, in each device, there are three things. Management. Then second is uh, control plane. That is CPU. And third one is data plane the actual flow of data. Data plan will remain with each of the devices and management and control, these will be decoupled and put into vManage. 
so if there are 15 devices 15 ban routers so we will be initially configuring these with seed configuration some five line configuration so that these get added or discovered in the v manage and once these are discovered then v manage will take care of everything means rest of the things will happen through this place only so it helps in easing the configuration process we don't have to go into each device being console no, uh, ospf configuration you know route map there are a lot of things we do on the uh, router static route sometime configuring of the ip addresses so those things will happen from center place and it supports multiple type of underlay that is infrastructure connections mpls lte internet so i told you that uh, the overlay tunnels will be built the traffic will use those tunnels so whatever inside uh, of the tunnels it becomes irrelevant up to some extent because uh, we have uh, overlay tunnels and even if one of the ISPs goes down doesn't matter much provided you have multiple connections at each site so you can monitor the performance of the links you can change the traffic flow based on the performance of an application application aware routing because nowadays we are using centralized applications gone are the days when we used to have exchange servers uh, on our premises on prem nowadays we don't have those we have office 365 outlook is there right all the applications are part of this major application is teams people collaborate discuss voice video calls sharing happens through this and this is based in internet it belongs to microsoft and uh, they have you know big dcs they have this uh, hyper v environment right so i mean the cloud okay the cloud is based on this hyper v similarly we have gcp in google right and we have aws for amazon this is an internet based application so it becomes very important that we make uh, intelligent decision of traffic based on the performance of the application so once you you know understand the sd wan in its entirety then all of these things will become very clear to you so operating cost will be reduced because the you don't have to send engineers at each site okay except for the main configuration means initially it will be done seed configuration and thereafter from central plane so it continuously adapts to changes which are happening in the network and what happens with that we basically avoid network congestion intermittent connectivity packet loss slowness so outages we can avoid these things so it adjusts automatically zero touch provisioning i told you the devices will be managed from central place let's say that one of your vanage device vanage router goes faulty you replace it you set up the basic configuration and it will download everything in this sd wan solution you do the basic configuration right but if you just learn the aci therein you don't even need to set up anything except on the epic controller so those devices are auto discovered using LLDP right and IPs are assigned using DHCP so that is much more easy but anyways so you've learned about the uh, main points of this topic let me take you to the diagram so this is the topology which I have built so I have five sites Melbourne, Paris, New Delhi, Chicago, Kiev and you see this is a controller we manage this is uh, our controller for the routing okay which deals with the omp and this is our uh, orchestrator and this was the win server which i installed initially for certification and this is hub or you may call it l2 switch which has only one vlan vlan one this is about the topology and this portion starting from here and uh, here 
this one this is your underlay network under actual physical infrastructure mpls plus internet biz internet so over this network will have overlay tunnels okay and once underlay is built then overlay tunnels will be built and on those tunnels the prefixes will be advertised let's say all of these prefixes will be sent to vsmart using omp updates and the traffic between let's say vh1 this one and vh2 it will be secured using ipsec so my handwriting is very bad i'm trying to improve but i'm helpless anyways you see this portion the right side this is the internal to each of these sites all right so this was the topology and this is the we manage you see the dashboard is there we smart it has discovered five vanages one we bond full connectivity for one side partial for four sides i don't know why it is saying maybe it has just been booted up normal for five all tunnels are up and uh, if you see this transport interface distribution health can be seen you know app aware routing it is measuring the latency packet loss so how helpful it is let me show you where do we create the feature templates first of all let me show you the device list this is the device list licenses these are the controllers go to templates you see device templates feature templates so many templates were created during the course of preparation of that course you see 37 in total and you see that these templates are attached to these many device templates and these many devices once you click on this you will see the list of all devices which have acquired the feature templates vanish 3 vanish 2 vanish 4 site id 3 2 4 and device templates so what is this feature template it's just a block of configuration like you can figure eigrp ospf uh, static routes ip address on the interface route map so these are all templates known as feature templates you have to create these and once you have created all of the feature templates then you need to combine those and put into a single template known as device template and that device template will be pushed over to the device or devices there is an option to configure the unique item separately i don't think you would have come to my course without even uh, having understanding of this uh, important topic i will take you to gui automation will happen using the apis but gui is important to validate whatever we will be doing i don't want to keep you in dark okay i want to show you each and everything and uh, let me show you the policies this is the master policy once you click enter you see app aware routing means you can configure policy based on an application this is data plane policy control plane policy you see these are the directions let me take you back to the policy section let me take you to list i'll be creating t log list for you site list using the apis scripts and then we'll validate here data prefixes colors prefixes right uh, all these things can be done using scripts the future is going to be of automation be prepared with that this is very important course so based on the learning you can further use this learning to devise more apis as per your needs so this was the tour to we manage an overall high level overview of the sd wan 
after this video we will be covering this automation part only okay first section will cover api calls using inbuilt library of uh, uh, this we manage and second will be using some third party software named postman and third will be using programming language we'll use python so i hope it's been informative to you and thank you so much for your time and have a nice day